Hi you guys, my name is ESC Robif2 and today I'm gonna listen to some music. This time it will be the French uh, national selection for Eurovision 2018 called Destination Eurovision. Uh, well, uh, there are 18 songs and there are uh, released only the snippets of uh, all of them. There are uh, 18 artists some are uh, known, some are uh, not that well known. Uh, well, I'm very excited because there are some quality songs. It is said so, so uh, I haven't heard them, honestly. And I like that France goes always for some of their language. Well, mostly is their. Uh, their language on uh, in Eurovision so that's uh, very cool because I like when a country goes for their own language uh, yeah so let's go uh, with the uh, the songs from the first semi-final there are uh, in each semi-final there are nine songs from each uh, semi-final there will be four songs that will go through to the final. So let's get started with the first song by Eila and the song is called J'ai Cru. I'll try to do my best to pronounce it uh, in the best way possible <laughs> because I haven't learned uh, French so let's go. Eila. I like French, it's a beautiful language. Okay, very beautiful voice, very soft, not that deep. I like how she touches the word. It, it sounds like magic. I like that. It's a nine. I'm very impressed. Next up, Emiliana. Okay, okay. -O. She won the voice. La ple, la ple vue, beau, belle voix. Oh. Uh, so yeah, interesting, very cool voice. She has on her own style. Eight. Next up, Inia. I'll be there. So something English. The title, I mean. Okay. Some. Caribbean vibes, I would say. Instrumentals, very cool. Very catchy. Okay, it's something that I would I would like to dance to. So it's a uh, eight again, a seven half. Uh, next up, Lisandro Cusi, Cusi, with the song Eva. He's young, uh, 18 years old from what I know. Okay, so he sang in English. That's cool. Um, seven. I liked it. Not that much, but cool. Next up, Luca uh, with Mamma Mia. Has some voice, pretty catchy but slow song. I like that. Uh, seven half. Next up, Malo with the song Ciao. Okay, something different from the pre previous four or five songs. Okay, that was interesting. Eight and a half. I like that. He has a specific voice, but it's very cool. Next up, uh, Maso with the song Paradis. Paradis. Okay, next uh, specific voice. Very special. Very high though. And seven and a half. Next up, Noé with the song 
l'un près de l'autre. L'autre. Ok. Very delicate voice. Very uh, kind sweet of a princess. Something like that. Ah, it's very cute. Very a very cute song. Nine, nine out of ten. Next up, Phenomène with uh, the song Jamais sans toi. Okay, I've pronounced it well. It's the last song from the first semi-final. Okay, interesting. I would say a uh, seven. <laughs> Very interesting uh, band, five guys, five voices. I'm looking forward to see them live. Okay, so uh, those were the nine, nine songs from the first semi-final. It was pretty good, I must admit. Uh, so the level is quite high. France hasn't done a national selection since 2014 when uh, the band Twin Twin won and uh, well, they didn't do well. They uh, won last place with two points. Uh, I didn't like the song either, so yeah. Well, anyways, if I would had to pick my four favorites that deserve to go to the uh, final I would pick um, Ayla for sure I liked that I like liked liked her a lot um, Noe also so that's that too and uh, also Malo and Emiliana, maybe, yeah. So those four I would uh, pick further, but all of them are pretty good. I mean, there wasn't a bad song in here, so that's that's great. Okay, so uh, now I'll go with the second semi-final. There are also nine songs. Uh, most of them in that mo most of the titles are in French there are two three in French uh, in English sorry okay so let's go first up is Egit with Lisboa Jerusalem maybe he wants to go to Lisbon so that he has in his title the capital of Portugal. That would be funny actually uh, to have him there. Um, interesting voice. Six and a half. Not my type of. Next up, Jane Constance. Uh, Un jour uh, j'ai rêvé. Uh, it's, it is sh said she's uh, blind. She participated in the Voice of Kids uh, in France and she won it, from what I remember. She's young. Uh, eight and a half. Okay, next up, June the Girl with the song Same. Oh, that's completely different from the previous songs. Actually, I think that's the best song so far. So it's a 10 out of 10. I absolutely love it from the first uh, to do. Next up is Lucy with the song My World. Very strong voice, powerful. I like the song as well. It's not a typical ballad, but it's also catchy, you know, with that thing. Uh, nine. Next up, the 
duo Madame Monsieur with the song Mercy. Not Merci, but Mercy. Okay. Very high quality song. Well produced. Mm, from the start already gripping. It's good. Nine and a half. Very soft, different. Next up is Max Cinnamon with Ayo. Well, he's the youngest participant. Only 16 years old. Very catchy, different also. I, I like that all, all the songs are different from each other. Nine. Looking forward to see him live. Next up, Nasi with the song Réveil de Kamel. Okay. Typical French pop realness, Candy Girac realness, I would say also. But he wrote songs for Candy Girac, so that explains a lot. <laughs> but it's cool, it's really cool. Okay, now that's interesting. Seven and a half though. Next up, Sarah Kaibo with the song Tu me manque. So, she participated in the voice. Some of the uh, contestants here uh, participated in the voice actually. The voice kids, the voice for adults, but still competed. Okay, so that's uh, emotional. I feel the emotions in her. Strong voice also. Looking forward to it. A8. Next up, Swim with the song loud okay he has his own style i like his voice it's very emotional as well okay the song is kind of has a mm, i don't know how to say it a dark climate something like that like you know there's some aura around it but it's very cool again uh, eight and a half i'm very much impressed because that was the last song and i have many good rates here the least the worst uh, rate is six and a half i mean i liked all of them at least a bit There's 10, 9, 9 and a half, 7 and a half, 8, 8 and a half, 7. But the second semi final is gonna be a bit stronger than the first one. But still, the level is like that high, higher than my head. It's really high. Well, they have recorded the semi finals uh, beforehand, so it's not gonna be live. The final is gonna only be uh, live, uh, so yeah. But still, I'm looking forward to watch the semi-finals, even even though they are recorded. Still, the level is. All the songs are pretty good. Uh, well, about the second semi-final, still. Um, if I had to pick the four contestants uh, finalists from this. I would go, of course, with June, the girl, uh, with Lucy, with Madame Monsieur, and mm, and the youngest uh, contestant, Max Cinnamon. Those four impressed me the most, although there was Jane also, uh, Swim, Sarah, it's hard to pick the, all the four. Well, juries will have a difficult time there. <laughs> And in the jury, uh, in the French jury, is um, Amir 
Amir, who represented um, France in the uh, 2016 uh, in Eurovision and placed very well because he was in top 10 like 5th? no 6th, 6th I think, yeah, as I remember so uh, there's gonna be Christel Bjorkman in the international jury the jury is composed very well and yeah let's look forward to it and wait for the semi-final uh, the semi the first semi final is gonna be uh, aired uh, this Saturday so I recommend it to you and because the level is very high like I said and from these nine uh, 18 songs I would pick for Eurovision uh, June the girl because she impressed me the most although all those songs are very uh, likable anyways that was it for uh, the French national selection uh, if you like the video thumbs up like the video and if you want to share your opinion uh, about the 18 songs comment down below in the comment section and if you want to stay tuned for other uh, videos and stuff from me to come hit the subscribe button uh, below the video and well there's gonna be uh, the my reaction to the Czech uh, national uh, selection songs and the uh, ones from the Switzerland so uh, I'm looking forward to it because I haven't heard them totally so uh, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye guys!